Johnny Williams here. Five ways that being vulnerable and authentic pay off both professionally and personally and help you stay winning include um, it, number one, just being authentic and vulnerable lets people know that you are there to take care of business. That's huge in many circles. Um, you walk in the door, people know who you are based on how you share, what you share, body language, all of that. Um, particularly in situations where we feel like or may feel like we're being judged. Still go with your honest, authentic self. That's number one. The second way that being vulnerable and authentic help you both professionally and personally are that it helps you to set boundaries. Yep. So you're not the fake person saying yes to everything and on the inside you're going, oh no, oh no. Because you're authentic straight up. Let's talk about vulnerability with number three. Allowing ourselves to be vulnerable um, really when we are um, working on communication skills and establishing trust in the situation professionally and personally again. When we are vulnerable, it lets people know that um, we really don't think that we're better than them. It's kind of a bottom line for me. Number four, be honest with yourself. So if you're doing your check-ins and you are practicing self-care, um, you understand that it can sometimes be extremely hard to be vulnerable. But when we are, the rewards can be so much greater than what we may have expected or anticipated um, because the person that we're talking to or the people that we're talking to or the situation that we are facing, um, though it may put us on an um, uneven keel or ground for a minute, if we are being authentic with ourselves and being honest with ourselves and assessing the situation and allowing ourselves to be vulnerable to um, maybe step into a new situation or to take on more responsibilities or even to say, you know what, I can't take on any more responsibilities. Um, my health is at stake. I need to step back a little bit and feeling comfortable and confident enough to do that. So again, this helps both professionally and in personal situations. And the last one um, goes along with self-care, and that is self-love and self-love first, which means that I'm, I, you, me, we, they, them, we should all be putting our best foot forward um, as we move throughout our day, as we move throughout um, this month and this winter season so that all the beautiful um, things that we are working on um, and some of the hard stuff too, maybe we still have self-work to do, allowing ourselves to be both vulnerable and authentic promotes good feelings within ourselves that we put back out into the world and it lets other people again know right away that we are about business. And that we can do it with kindness and empathy because we allow ourselves to be authentic and vulnerable. That's it. Those are the five ways. That's it. Let's put them to use. Have a great day.